Guys, in this video, we are taking this absolute monster of an Axio SCX6 and we are putting some big trill upgrades on it. So this is the 1.6 scale from Axial. This is the SCX6. It's a massive monster of a uh, RC crawler. If you've not seen the review video of this, go check it out. And there it is next to a Traxxas TRX4. <laughs> That's how much of a monster it is. This was given to me to unbox and do a review and fit all this by Gareth Curtis, so GCRC. He's also the trill supplier for the UK. It might be worldwide as well. He's got an eBay store. I'll share it in the description below, but that's where all this stuff come from. So it's not mine, but I have had the chance to have a go on it. And it's an absolute beast. It's not something I buy though. It just end up sat over with a load of other stuff up there. I might use it once or twice. And it's quite an expensive bit of kit. But if you are thinking of buying one, go for it. If you've got the money to buy one, go for it. You will not be disappointed. The same as I'm sure you won't be disappointed in this trill stuff because the quality of it, is absolutely awesome. I fully upgraded a little SCX24 with Trill stuff. Awesome quality. And there's links, like I said, where you can see it all below. Right, anyway, let's get that stuff on here. I think I'm gonna do the front axle first because that's probably the most complicated. So we'll get that one out of the way and then we'll move on to the rear. As well as the axles, got some front suspension towers, a brass diff cover for the front and some steering knuckles. If you are gonna get one of these, you need a lot of space because <laughs> it is huge. So there's the original axle off and then here's the trail stuff with the this thing it's got some right weight to it and then some really nice green steering hubs or steering knuckles you get fixings and bearings with the steering knuckles you also get new fixings new bearings with the axle as well so let's get this out be interested how much grease is in here my capra from axle had nothing in the uh, diffs nothing in the portals and nothing in the gearbox let's crack it open Right, here we go then. Is there grease in here? Well, oh, yeah, looks like it. Yes, there is definitely grease in there. Looks like a nice silicon grease as well, that. Well done, Axel. <laughs> you got it right this time. Right, how do I get these out? Do I just, do they just pull out? Yeah, they do. Slide them out. Real men wear gloves. <laughs> Surprising they didn't put sealed bearings in. That is surprising. The bearings that Trill give you are rubber sealed ones, so that's good. Although you don't get any for your diff gear. Right, let's prep the Trill axle. So it doesn't come with the bearings that go in the end of the axle there so you have to reuse the old ones and again they're not sealed so maybe worth getting some sealed ones if you want to make it um, completely water um, resistant and the steering knuckles only come with one for the outside that's sealed so you have to again reuse the um, old one for the inside of there and i had to use i used a 17 mil socket so a 17 or a 16 i don't know what that is for you imperial guys but um, that I use just to get the bearing in straight because it can be a little bit awkward. That's the bearing there on the old one. So it comes out quite easy with this, but it's a bit of a tight squeeze in there. So definitely get a socket that's the same diameter just to knock it in so it goes in straight. Once it's all on though, looks nice, doesn't it? Easy enough to fit on. Don't forget to put your little collars in. They go in there and I recommend just a little bit of blue lock tight just on these fixings. Whoop just on these fixings, because in my experience, these are the ones that usually work themselves loose, especially with all the turn in motion. So a little bit blue, you can put a bit of red lock tight on if you want, but I use blue. So before we fit this stunning 
front axle. Let's just quickly sort these out. These are the front suspension mounts. I've already fitted this side and it is as easy as four fixings. One, two, three, four, and then it comes out. Obviously, if this isn't disconnected already, you need to do that, but it's as simple as that and the thing drops out. And the good thing about these, you get loads more options there look, for where you can uh, set your suspension. That's the stock one with five mounting points and then the trill one with two, four, six, eight, ten different mounting points on that. And obviously they look really good as well. So strut mounts fitted, axle fitted on there. Everything went together so well. Bit of blue Loctite and all the fixings because it's metal on metal rather than with the um, stock axle, you got metal into plastic, so you don't really need that. Loctite on there. Anyway, time to get onto the rear. And I think this is probably going to be a bit simpler than the front because it's just that solid straight axle, four links underneath, suspension off. We haven't got to put the brass cover on. We haven't got to put the strut towers on. So I will get that fitted. And then when it's done, we'll come back and have a look at the finished truck. So that's all the trail stuff fitted, front axle, steering knuckles, suspension, strut top mount thingies, rear, ac rear axle. This is heavy. <laughs> now we're going to box it back up and take it back to its owner and hopefully give it a good run. Let's go. It's a monster, isn't it? Nice. Easy. A nice test of the drag brake. I've not done any settings to it, so I think it's on like 50% maybe. If I keep the camera straight, you'll see how steep it is. It's not too bad, is it? Nice. It's just beasting it, isn't it? It's like it's making no difference whatsoever. You know what it's like when the front hasn't got traction, the back has? Yeah. That's it, just like that. Perfect. Easy peasy. Nearly gonna do it, isn't it? <laughs> there we go, <laughs> a bit of help. Well, I think we've got to give it some credit. 
I think I'll give it a lot of credit. <laughs> Couldn't get up there with anything. Just give that SCX6 a bit of credit for getting up there because that was not easy. A little bit of help, but still, what a beast.